Some pastors have staged the protest against the Edo State government's decision to stop people that have not taken the COVID-19 vaccine from attending church services. In a picture obtained by Sahara reporters on Monday, a group of clerics with their leader were seen sitting on the ground and carrying play cards with different inscriptions. Sahara reporters had reported how a government circular surfaced recently, which indicated that the state government through the head of service had mandated civil servants across the state to either take the vaccines or stay away from office. A suit was filed by one Charles Osaritin marked FHC slash PH slash FHR 260 slash 2021 against the governor and five others at the Federal High Court in Port Harcourt River State Capital. The applicant through his counsel, a Chozona Etiaba, a senior advocate of Nigeria San, had asked the courts to order parties to maintain status quo pending the hearing and determination of the motion on notice for the enforcement of the applicants for the mental human rights and for the leave of courts to serve the respondents by publishing the court's processes in a national daily newspaper. The judge Stephen Daylop Palm, who granted the orders, has prayed adjourned the suit till September 10th for a hearing of the substantiative motion. The state governor, Gordon Obaseki, was restrained from enforcing compulsory COVID-19 vaccination directive restricting unvaccinated persons from attending mass gatherings from September. Some leaders of the Christian faith in the state led a protest against the government's compulsory vaccination directive, which makes the presentation of vaccination certificate a ticket to access public places. This is um, taking another twist. So, um, Sarah reporters have just uh, um, obtained uh, a, a photo where priests were seen with placards that no way they are not going to um, be forced to take this. But we know last week, it was last week, early last week, um, the governor was really appreciating religious leaders because what happened last week was that the rather than the, the centers being spread across the state, the governor took these, <laughs> took it to the churches that now we are here, you don't need to come over to us. So we are here, you can just come and take it, come and have yours. So he, they went to different churches. And at the end of that exercise, he was appreciating all of the parish pastors, the churches they visited for the, the turnout and um, a lot of people that uh, uh, participated, all those that participated that have taken theirs. We also saw APC's candidates in the 2020 Edo State Governorship Election, Pastor Saige Zeyamu commending Governor Godin Obaseki for this um, effort, for his effort to see that um, everyone in the state, every um, indigenous, every citizen of the state, they are kept safe. Not long after all of those commendations and everything, that was when the first protest broke out that uh, they carried inscription that we are not, it is not going to happen. No way it will not happen. We cannot be forced. We have to decide on our own. We cannot be forced. And after that, we saw that um, a court order came restraining Governor Gordon Obaseki from um, carrying out that directive that everything should be on hold until the final determination of the uh, uh, of the suit. This one that I just dropped now is that um, some priests from different denominations, they were seen carrying different placards again, kicking against it again. So uh, it means the, the way it is right now, uh, not all of the churches are in acceptance because Obaseki took it to some churches. They accepted it and he was appreciating them. And now these priests who are all sitting on the floor, kicking against it, they are saying that uh, it will not happen. You know, this picture was obtained by Sahara reporters on Monday and it was a group of clerics with their leaders. They were all seen sitting on the ground and they were also carrying placards with different inscriptions. Obviously, uh, that is to show that um, they are not in support and they will not be forced. What Obaseki has warned about is that um, there's a different wave, the Delta wave. This is like the third time. You know, the first time he came, he wasn't taken seriously. The second, and this is like the third one. And uh, he's saying that all he's doing, his intentions is just to keep everyone safe. That he doesn't want to run into uh, a situation where he will lock down the state. There's a normal saying that prevention is better than cure. So he doesn't want that. That is why he took that uh, uh, measure 
put that measure in place so it was like a passport so your vaccine passport ticket if you don't have it that um, you'll be denied access to different um, gatherings parties uh, religious gatherings mock, uh, the mocks churches and all of that the date that was set was meant to be the first week of um, uh, um, September I beg your pardon the second week of September but before that um, court hearing came and put everything on hold so right now enforcement has not started because the courts are joined till September 10th I don't know how that case is going to go but a lot of reactions have been coming some persons are not really happy with the way Obasek is going about it some persons feel like fair enough uh, we we understand the importance of this thing that is going on it is not only it's not affecting nigeria alone it's affecting the whole country and everyone is seeing how the wave is affecting people so people should be uh, they, they feel that is the way they feel that they should be left to decide for themselves but basically is saying that if we leave you to decide for yourself that means uh, it might be a danger to others because we live in a world where we don't we we <laughs> We, we interrelate, we mix up. When you go to the bank, you are not there alone by yourself in the banking hall. If you go to the market, you are not there by yourself. So we the sort of society we live in, people interact, people mix up. Whether we like it or not, we find the situation, even if we're not speaking to the people, sometimes we'll come in close contact if we're walking past and all of that. And those are the things Obaseki is looking at when he stated that um, this is the measure he has to take. He even gave... A certain percentage that he's looking forward to a time he was projecting that before this time he wants to ensure that um, over 60 percent of um, the indigents have had theirs but um, the people of Edo states are not in support of Baseke has obviously taken his he uh, we know he took it earlier on himself and his wife and also the deputy governor philip shaibu well i don't know how all of this will go september 10th is not long to go for the hearing of that suit that was um the order that was given the governor and now these pastors the lead pastors they are now kicking again stating that it will not happen they cannot be forced if these pastors if these leaders are uh kicking against it it means that their followers will be on the, most of their followers let me not say all of them most of their followers will be on the same page with them to also resist the move by of no god Obaseki making this compulsory well guys let's say your own take down below in the comment section thank you once again for staying tuned please please don't forget to give us a thumbs up click on the like button uh, we really appreciate you and if it's your first time you're very very welcome please hit on the subscribe button god bless you till i come your way again with more updates bye